everyone, it's Julia with Wig Review Central. This is Wig Talk Wednesday, where we talk about some hot topics in the wig and hair community. Before we get started, I am wearing the gorgeous Trezalore style. This is Beach Wave Magic, and I'm wearing it in the color 613-1001-R18. This is a vanilla blonde blended with a creamy platinum blonde and it has ash brown roots. I have a wig review of this. You need to check it out. I will leave a link in the video description box under this video if you'd like to look at the wig review and see if this style is for you. But what I wanted to talk about on this week's wig talk is how do you explain wig wearing to coworkers, friends, or family? Or do you? Do you just keep your wig wearing a secret? When I was in my 20s and diagnosed with alopecia, I did not want anyone to know. My very first wig was purchased at Brooms Beauty Supply in Morristown, New Jersey. An older African-American couple, Mr. and Mrs. Broom, owned it. They took me under their wing, taught me about wigs, helped me select my first synthetic fiber style. Back then it was just regular synthetic. It was actually about this long, but the color I chose was pretty close to my natural hair color. It was a medium to light ash brown. It was very important to me then that people not know that I wore a wig. I felt then very insecure. I felt that people would be like, oh my God, she's losing her hair and she's in her 20s, how awful. And I didn't at that time want people to know. When I wore the wig to my office job, and I can remember people complimenting my hair, my wig, but I did not tell them it was a wig. And what's interesting is no one seemed to catch on. And that's back before we really had beautiful lace fronts and full mono tops and more realistic features that looked fantastic. As I got older, I became more confident in my wig wearing. I wanted to explore different styles and colors and I'm, I'm kind of laughing because if you know, you know, wig wearing can become an addiction. Uh, once you get comfortable, then you wanna explore different styles, you wanna try different lengths, different colors, you wanna try different wig caps to see what suits you best. You know, do you want fully hand tied, monofilament top, monofilament part, lace front? There's so much out there to explore and enjoy. I finally, in my 30s, got to the point where I just told people, because I wanted to wear different lengths, styles, and colors, it was obvious that I was changing my hair quite a lot. And people, women, that get their hair done at the salon, they know that when you dye your hair, it damages the hair. So people were catching on, gosh, she goes from a brunette to a light blonde, and then she'll go back to another brunette, or so they, they knew something was up. I found when I was finally comfortable enough to tell people I wore a wig, it took the anxiety out of wig wearing for me. I, I just was no longer anxious. People knew I didn't have to worry about it. I didn't have a lot of negative feedback either. If anything, people were curious. And I look at it as an opportunity to educate. But I would love your opinion. How do you talk about wigs to friends, family, coworkers, associates, or do you not? Please leave your comments in the comments section below. And you know, any advice you have will help the newcomer who is just starting their wig journey. And I think that's the least we can do is try to share our experience with wigs and how we have become empowered and confident through our wig wearing journey.
Well, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button under the video so that I know you like this kind of content and I can plan what to bring you in the future. If you're not already a subscriber, please click the subscribe button. Subscribing to my channel is always free. Thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye.